you get your manual and then these tools are not included but you're gonna uh, need them an adjustable wrench and a allen wrench the first thing we're gonna do is install the kickstand if it's not already installed on your bike so you're gonna get uh, your included tool Make sure that the spring uh, is on the outside and then just make sure that these grooves go inside of here. Kind of attach it like that. Make sure that it's kind of locked. Okay, so to install the front wheel, you're gonna have to remove uh, this rod. This is here just for shipping purposes. So just remove it. Okay, to the side. And then, in case uh, this part is, is uh, closed, you can op open it using uh, an adjustable wrench. Oh, just go here. Just open it, and then it's gonna open it up. So after opening up the brakes, you're gonna get your front tire, and then on your front tire, it tells you which direction it should be facing. It has an arrow. Um, so then loosen up your the nuts and the washer as a hook. Put on both sides. Okay. Then get your washer and then make sure that you insert the hook on this hole. Get your nut. for the other side. So now we're going to show you how to install the handlebars. So you're going to want to get this stem first, pull it all the way in, and then you're going to want to close this latch. Make sure that the latch is tight. If it's uh, kind of loose, you can adjust it right here uh, using a screwdriver. Okay. So once you make sure it's tight enough, you close it and then you push this uh, round plastic part in so that uh, it locks into place. And then right here, you're gonna wanna loosen it up so you can insert the handlebars. And the way you do that is you can hold this side and then turn this side counterclockwise. Get your handlebars. And then this groove should be facing, should be facing the back. Okay, insert to the desired height and then make sure you tighten the latch. So hold it and then turn it clockwise. Okay, so it's tight. Okay, you can close it up and make sure you test out the handlebars by pushing them in. Make sure they don't go down. And you're set for this part. So if your handlebars are not aligned properly, you can adjust them. Okay, you're gonna want to remove this uh, safety uh, piece that's for the latch. It prevents it from opening. Open it up, open up your latch. And then you're gonna get a six millimeter Allen wrench. You're gonna adjust this counterclockwise to loosen it up. Okay. And adjust your handlebars, make sure they're aligned properly. 
Then you're going to want to tighten it up clockwise. Use the latch. And then make sure that you insert this safety piece inside. Okay, now we're going to install the seat poles. So once again, to loosen up the latch, hold this part, and then turn it counterclockwise. Get your seat post. Ins insert it to the desired height. And then hold the side. And then turn the side clockwise. Okay. Make sure it's tight. Close, close it all the way. And push the seat just so you can test it out so it doesn't go down. If you push down the seat and, and it goes down, that means that the latch is not uh, securely tightened. So just open it up, make sure that you tighten it. Okay. And close it and push. And then also another thing uh, for the frame, make sure that this uh, safety piece is down on this latch. That way it doesn't open up. Now we're gonna show you how to uh, assemble the pedals. And the pedals are labeled. Um, it, it has L for left and R for right. So in my case, we're gonna install the right pedal first. And then um, they're, different, they're different in appearance because the, only the right pedal folds in. Um, and that's to save space when it's folded. Okay, so get your right pedal. And then you can use your hand tighten it. So turn it clockwise, make it tight in, and get your wrench so you can make sure it's tight in all the way in. There you go. And then do the same for the left pedal. The left pedal you install that one turning it counterclockwise. Now we're going to show you how to install the front fender and the reflector. So you're going to want to get your reflector in this uh, small plastic piece. And then gonna go like that. And then these grooves go on the inside like that. And then make sure it snaps into place. And you're going to insert it to the back in between the tire and the arch. Okay. Then get your screw. Make sure that you open it up. Get your reflector. Align it with the hole. Push it all in. And then tighten the nut. The other side. Okay, and then you're gonna get a, your wrench and a screwdriver. Make sure you tighten up this screw. Make sure that the fenders align properly as well. Align it with the hole right here. Inside in it, and then get your screwdriver. And then get your other screw and do the same for the other side. These black uh, plastic pieces are for the um, nuts from the front wheel and the rear wheel. You can just you can insert them right here if you like. That's optional. You get four pieces, just do it to the front and to the rear sides. So then you're gonna to wanna to make sure that the front brake cables are adjusted properly. So get the cable and pull it slightly and then make sure it goes through that hole. And then it locks properly. If you wanna adjust them, you can get a, a wrench and you're gonna adjust This right here, turn it counterclockwise, 
so you can loosen it up and then adjust the cable get your wrench make sure that you tighten all the way in that way the cable doesn't loosen up Okay, so now we're going to show you how to fold the bike. Okay, so you're going to open up this latch, push it down, make sure you fold it down to the front wheel, then open up this safety lock, open up the latch, push up the kickstand, and then make sure that the left pedal um, is towards the top. That way it's easy to fold and it doesn't get in the way. Okay, then you can get your strap and attach it to the bike. That way it doesn't unfold. 